Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chung. Let's get into some hot topics. Let's go. Well, I think we can put this to bed because Cardi posted this today and it doesn't look like she's pregnant the way she snatched as she's singing her verse in her new song, That Money. And also what she needs to put to bed is that money because this has to be the worst song that she's ever come out with. I love Belle Calise. I love Cardi B. Love her down. But this ain't it, sis. This is horrible. Because, I mean, I can't. Child, Drew Sedora is still living at home with Ralph Pittman, okay? Amid ongoing divorce, he's in the basement. Let's get into this literature. So, you know, they separated in February of 2023, right? They were married eight years, and they were running to the courthouse within an hour of each other. In the time since, the former pair have been working to finalize their divorce while Pittman has been living in the basement of their shared home due to a court-ordered mandate. And this is what she said. It's still not settled, and yes, we're still living together under the same roof, right? She told People Magazine. I didn't even know that could happen. I was like, what? But yeah, he's living in the basement, and that was court-ordered. And I wonder who made that a court order. You think Rick and Ralph did that because he don't have nowhere to go? I think that's what happened. Now, we talked about this on Live Hot Topics on Wednesday. Portia's actual storyline for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all, Michelle said, reading from her phone, I'm going to say allegedly because I was not over there, but Portia revealed that she and Simon had, a, had gotten a surrogate. The woman had been put through testing, right? The embryos were ready and they were ready to be implanted, right? But when Portia filed for divorce, Simon said he wanted them destroyed. Now, the questions on the live was, Simon can't do that unless Portia, you know, says it's okay, right? They both have to agree on it. But Portia knew she was going to do this. Why? So she wanted to have a baby, get child support, live in the house and drive the car? Simon said, not today. In the game of Simon Says, Simon Says No. So, honey, I got this from the King of Shade, honey. He says that for the upcoming season of the Merit of Medicine, um, the ladies are being explosive. It was explosive during filming. The final cast trip was so explosive that the cast has been divided and filming in small, separate groups since. What? Now, I will say this. The dentist does not let on to anything when she's talking to Carlos on Mondays. And that's a good thing. Because they have been keeping this very quiet. I'm here for it. I am here for season 11, honey. Because it sound, if this is true, it sounds like it's going to be good. Child, so the people are saying that Nelly was supposed to be at a concert, but the reason he didn't show up? Because Ashanti has gone into labor. Do we know what she's having? Because I know her baby shower was kind of unisex. But I pray for nothing but a easy delivery for her, safe for her and the baby. And I know it's going to be beautiful. I cannot wait. Now, honey, this came from the shade room. Simon Gobadia. Kylie Jenner made this post and Simon is in her likes. Why is Simon in Kylie's likes? Like, why would that even cross paths like that? Simon, what are you doing? This is strange, right? So this is coming from Black Millionaires underscore on Instagram. Tyler Perry says he is down to work with 50 Cent to produce new movies and TV shows after 50 reached out to him for mentorship. Like the only thing that 50 needs from Tyler is probably like longevity, right? How have you stayed in the business so long? Because we've seen power, we've seen ghost, right? We know that 50 can put on a good show, rich, you know what I'm saying? Great actors, great storylines. Tyler, all you need to know from Tyler is how to stay in the game as long as he has. Because we don't need scripts from Tyler. We don't need wardrobe from Tyler. We don't need wigs from Tyler. 50, I think you got this. I think he went over there and saw all that land Tyler has and everything he's done. And he doesn't realize he is as great. He is as great. Hold on. When I was in Shreveport, 
I got put in the address for the 50, I mean, for the G Unit Studios. Y'all, this is G Unit Studios over in Shreveport. He is working on it. It he has a whole other lot also. It's not as big as Tyler's, but this is the lot. 50, you got your own stuff. You don't need anything but how to stay in the game long. That's it. So this is coming from spiritual word, right? So, you know, earlier today I talked about, you know, the outages with the internet. I told you that my friend had a dream that the internet was gone. She was like, people were running around everywhere trying to figure stuff out. We didn't know what we were doing. But this has been reported that experts say global tech outage is a warning. Next time could be worse. I went to the bank and got me a little money. So, and I bought some groceries too. So... I would just say get some change and put it on hand because what else can happen in this world y'all what else when i tell y'all this election has me so nervous so nervous stephen a smith defends amber rose's rnc speech she talked about stuff that hits home what did she talk about yeah i spent a lot of money uh at the grocery store today yeah it takes a little bit to fill up my gas tank but what else did she say? Like, we are we really putting our democracy in a speech by Amber Rose, who donned a tramp stamp on her forehead? Whose whole reasoning for being at the RNC is by way of black men in the struggle, might I add. Look at Kanye. I'm stressed out. Then they have Huck Hogan speaking at the RNC. Huck Hogan. And Trump is blowing kisses to him. Y'all, y'all have got to vote. We will be having another call to action this coming up Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. on Millie Chan TV. And I, I'm working on a guest, but if not, we're going to have the panel and we're just going to have a conversation because there's things to talk about. Let's keep going. Lastly, I am very happy for Jennifer from uh, Basketball Wives, right? I'm very happy for her and Christian. And it seems like she's so happy. And I don't know exactly when she's getting ready to get married, but they've been, they look so good together. I just want this to be the right one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lastly, rest in peace, Martin Knoll. He's played in a lot of things, but I liked him when he was on Roseanne. Um, this year is, is a lot. And Bob Newhart. Like, I had no idea. Y'all, we got to start doing better, making better choices. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I just want to say I love you. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.